tell you, man. What's happening? What's happening? Not much. Good Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Pelton. Hey. What are you up to? What are you doing? Man, just doing some down and dirty uh, stereo loops, you know, into Ableton Live. It's so, cool. so much fun to just hang out sometimes and, you know, roll your own loops and stuff. All right. So you're recording them there live in your laptop, huh? Yeah, yeah. And uh, right. it's wild how much you can get going on just uh, with a minimal amount of gear and fuss and... Uh, you know, the ability to be able to do this in your own apartment or home is uh, is pretty amazing. The, in the new millennium and whatnot. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you take me through your setup? Maybe uh, what do you need to do down and dirty looping, Sean Pelton style? Yeah, well, it's wild. You know, I got a stereo mic, uh, but you can use a mono mic. Any mic uh -huh. will do, you know. And I uh, got it going into this M-Audio Firewire 410 uh, interface. And uh, then that's going into the laptop and uh, got it routed into uh, Ableton Live. Dig it. So here's the beat I was just messing with. And uh, one thing about, you know, rolling your own loops is uh, just the dry drum beat. If you want to beef it up a little bit, like I slid a, a EQ3 over to boost some of the low end. And then I took uh, the Ableton Live compressor, compressor one, and use the uh, very first preset, which is just called compression. I slid that over the loop as well. So all of a sudden, you know, my tiny little drum kit in this small room has a uh, is fuller and fatter sounding. And then we can take that a notch higher with uh, the compression thing, and put the same compressor. I just put it over the master bus, and that's going to sound like this. Yeah. So without that, it's a little less full and then... So man, I like that sound actually considering that's coming from uh, just this little room in somebody's apartment, you know, it's uh, amazing. You know, just to show how straight ahead this can be, let's go uh, see if we can find some stuff laying around the house and uh, get down on it. Okay, kitchen, let's see what's laying around. Scraping uh, on some stuff. Bowl of, bowl of nuts. Pots and pans. All right, this will be fun. We'll take these in and uh, hot sauce. That doesn't make any noise. Oh, dig it. All right, vitamins. All right, back to the studio. All right, so I'm going to overdub uh, the shaker to uh, our drum loop. So I'll get going and I'm going to press record. Yeah, I like it. So dig it. Man, let's take that a step further and uh, wig out effects wise. So like if I solo that, I'm going to throw the same compressor on there, make it a little more present. And then let's slide the auto filter on, which is one of the effects that come with Ableton Live. Oh man, that's wild. Going crazy like really gigging in space or something. Alright, cool. So, uh, wow, let's keep going with our kitchen appliances and uh, see what else we can uh, doctor up and stuff. Oh, this one's got some ridges in it. Let's uh, can scrape on that like a rear row or a washboard or something like that. Yeah, let's try throwing some effects on that and see what happens. I like there's an auto filter again, I thought it was fun. Let me see if I can get it to a whirly gig around all crazy and whatnot. All right, cool. And then uh, let's try one of the resonator effects that come with Ableton Live and see what happens with that. Oh man. Yeah. Wow. It sounds like we went to Pluto and whatnot. Alright, cool. So let's listen to what we got going on so far. Wow, so not bad for just, you know, a low rim drum kit with one mic and uh a vitamin shaker and a pot. I'm gonna try overdubbing just uh, banging on it like a cowbell.
One more overdub. Let's just try maybe uh, hand claps on two and four with this thing. Reverb to this, make it sound bigger. And uh, slide the gate on to get rid of some of the noise. And uh, let's compress it. Sounds pretty good for just clapping in the room. And all with the built in mic. Just down and dirty, roll your own. Get down, and make your own riff correction. Cool. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, and uh, you know, I hope this this uh, kind of opens some doors to just see how easy it can be to uh, with just a little imagination and stuff, and uh, anything laying around the house, you can make your own uh, down and dirty loops. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thank you.